Welcome to Anchors Away, the podcast that chronicles a landlocked future sailor's journey to finding freedom and adventure at sea. I'm your host, Todd Middlebrooks, and I welcome you along on my journey. In this episode, I discuss a potential U.S. Virgin Islands sailing trip, a possible pivot in selecting a sailing school, and getting started with ASA 105 certification. Now, let's go on to today's sailing term. We have two terms again for today's episode, and they are tack and jibe. They go together. This term... First, tack. This term has two distinct meanings. Both of them are very important. As a verb, to tack is to change direction by turning the bow of the boat through the wind. As a noun, your tack is the course you are on relative to the wind. For example, if the wind is blowing over the port side, you are on a port tack. If it's blowing over the starboard side, you're on a, you guessed it, starboard tack. Jibe, on the other hand, is another way of changing direction in which you bring the stern of the boat through the wind. Whether you choose to tack or jibe entirely depends on the situation, what's around you, and the direction of the wind. Now let's get on to today's episode. As I mentioned before, In the intro, we have had the opportunity uh, presented before us to potentially take a U.S. Virgin Islands sailing trip this fall uh, in October for fall break. Uh, It kind of fell into our laps. Uh, Friends of ours who we went sailing with last year in the BVI um, had the opportunity, well, had a trip planned for the BVI again that has kind of fallen through due to the coronavirus. Uh, The British Virgin Islands are still currently closed uh, for travel and sailing. And so they're looking to move that trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands. And uh, the crew that they had put together may or may not fall through. And so we may be presented with the opportunity to sail with them again. There's a couple of things that are that are kind of hang-ups um our oldest son is uh off to college and their oldest daughter is off to college and so we wouldn't have the full family and so it kind of be the first time traveling (laughs) without all of us together so that could be kind of odd another potential hang-up is that in order to travel to the u.s virgin islands you have to have a okay If you are coming from a state that has higher than a 10% positive rate for COVID-19, you must show a negative test within a certain time frame of traveling to the islands. Uh, This may or may not be a big deal depending on the testing methods that are now being used. Uh, I know a lot of the the newer tests use a, a saliva test or a more gentle swab, uh, but initially the tests were... I won't say traumatic, but pretty um, invasive. And so that was something that we were less interested in doing uh, just for the purposes of travel. However, in order to get a sailing trip in, it may be worth it. Next, I want to talk about uh, ASA 105. So I have uh, registered for the ASA 105 certification course through StarPath. Um, and have started that process. I have completed lesson one thus far, um, and I have taken the practice quiz on which I made a 100, so I was excited about that. Great way to start that course. I'm currently getting into lesson two and looking forward to learning more about uh, coastal navigation. Uh, The great thing about the ASA 105, as I have discussed before, is there are no prerequisites There are no prerequisites um, for that course, Um, so I'm able to get started on this while I make a decision on uh, sailing school. Which brings me to my next topic, um, 
the winds. Okay, so the friends of ours that we sail with, the winds, the friends of ours who have, the friends of ours who we have sailed with, the winds, um, recommended a private school or private boat training, um, and. Friends of ours who we have traveled with, or the friends of our, the friends of ours that we have sailed with in the past, the winds, highly recommended a private sailing course um, for our training, and also recommended that my wife um, go and get at least ASA one hundred and one and one hundred and three certified, so that she has knowledge of sailing. That you know, if we're sailing alone. And I'm out, and, and for whatever reason, become incapacitated, go overboard, get sick, whatever. She could handle the boat uh, if we're underway and sailing. I think this is a great idea, and it also gives us, uh, as a family, just more exposure to sailing knowledge, and will help us all, you know, have a more pleasurable sailing experience in the future. So that being said, I started looking at other schools that offered private courses. Uh, the winds recommended Emerald Coast Yachting, which is located in Pensacola, Florida. They are also an ASA certification school and offer private courses focusing primarily on couples and families. There are a couple of benefits to this. One, we can drive from where we live to Pensacola. It's about a four and a half to five hour drive which is not bad at all, um, and it keeps us, you know, from having to fly right now as this pandemic, pan- and it keeps us from having to fly right now as this pandemic is ongoing and we're trying to avoid getting sick and we're trying to stay healthy. Also, Also, being that it's relatively close, we can split up the course, which is something that Peggy at Emerald Coast recommended. I've been in communication with uh, their school, and they've provided a gri- uh, and they've provided a ton of great information, uh, and tried to help walk us through the process of selecting courses and planning them um, and fitting them into the timeline that we kind of established for. our our sailing education. Uh, I did explain that we had a potential trip coming up in October and that I would like to be certified prior to that. Their recommendation was to get the 101 and 103 certification prior to that trip and then come back in the spring and get the 104 and 114 catamaran certification. Now, while I did initially want to get them all at once, I've since started to understand that that could be a pretty compressed schedule and a lot to learn in a short time. As Peggy explained it, each course has a textbook that goes with it, obviously, and each one of those requires at a minimum about a week of study. And based on our existing timeline and where we're at and when we want to travel, it may be a a lot to try to get them all in prior to that trip. So the plan as it stands is for my wife and I to get certified in 101 and 103 in that four-day course. Then if we decide or get, you know, then, and then if we go on the trip in October, we'll have a good base of sailing knowledge and can at least crew um, that trip. Then in the spring... I can come back to Emerald Coast. Then in the spring, I could go back to Emerald Coast and get my 104 and 114 certification. And then next season, we'll be ready to charter alone as a family if we choose to or as a flotilla with others. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, So that's kind of where I'm at right now in the decision-making process. Uh, The private is a little more, but because there's two, 
The private certification is a little more expensive. However, since there are two certifications included, one for myself and one for my wife, it kind of actually works out to be pretty economical. Uh, it does offer more flexibility um, in scheduling. Since there is no defined schedule, they work to our schedule uh, as best as possible. And we can split up the course and finish it next spring. So I, I think that's kind of where I'm leaning at the moment. But again, uh, things change all the time. Um, and plans may change again in the future. We shall see. Until then, I'll keep working on the ASA 105 certification, which I hope to have finished very soon. And then we'll continue to work on scheduling the skate. Until then, I'll continue to work on the ASA 105 certification and hopefully complete that soon. And that was the wrong button. As was that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the boat on future episodes as they will automatically be docked into your favorite podcast player. Until then, anchors away. <laughs>